ecosystems. A healthy ecosystem includes producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers on Earth's surface are organisms that use the sun's energy, plus water and carbon dioxide, to make sugar via photosynthesis. In oceans, which cover most of Earth, phytoplankton are the key producers. Phyto means plant-related, and plankton are aquatic microbes. On land, plants are the key producers. Producers are the key to the survival of an ecosystem because they are the only organisms on Earth's surface that, through photosynthesis, capture the sun's energy, turn carbon dioxide and water into usable food, sugar, for other organisms through photosynthesis, and produce oxygen. All cells ultimately depend on producers to harness the energy that is used to make glucose, for glucose that is used for energy and to build other molecules for life functions, and for oxygen to enable cellular respiration. Consumers cannot make their own food. They survive by consuming plants or animals. Types of consumers. Herbivores eat only plants. Omnivores eat a variety of foods including plants, animals, and fungus. Carnivores kill and eat animals and scavengers eat animals that are already dead. Herbivores are animals that get their energy from eating only plants. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. A carnivore is an animal that primarily eats other animals. Some bacteria, archaea, and fungi are decomposers. They use chemicals to break down organic, dead tissues. All organisms eventually die. Decomposition returns their atoms or molecules to water and soil so that producers can absorb them and use them again. The atoms that are recycled by decomposers are nutrients, essential particles for the growth of producers and consumers. Decomposers are an essential part of the ecosystem. They eliminate a buildup of dead organisms. They digest dead organisms and return nutrients to the soil. Healthy soil supports healthy plants that can create their own food and support the entire ecosystem. The five below arrows represent how energy and nutrients flow through a healthy ecosystem. Describe what each arrow represents. Free energy from the sun allows producers to make food. Consumers get free energy and nutrients by eating producers. Consumers die and are decomposed. Producers die and are decomposed. And decomposition allows nutrients to be reused by producers. When Europeans arrived in Western North America, they wrote about the incredible number and diversity of marine life in Monterey Bay. However, hunting and fishing took a toll on life in the bay and for decades life was relatively sparse. Recently there has been a new boom of wildlife and a reassembling of the ecosystem there. Click for activity link. Ecology is the study of relationships of organisms and their environment. This branch of biology can be used to study the local ecosystem. Ecosystems in Eswatini include montane grasslands, savanna woodland mosaic, forests, and aquatic systems. These ecosystems can include the following producers, mountain aloe, common tree euphorbia, common lantana. These primary consumers, impala, plain zebra, white rhinoceros, and these secondary consumers, Nile crocodile, serval, and black-backed jackals.